Here's what's up guys. I'm supposed to be leaving for San Diego in five hours and I have not packed at all. This is the outfit I was attempting to wear to the plane and I don't think it's going to work out. Do you want to know why? Feasibly and realistically, I am aware I can't wear a large flowy skirt to the airport as that just doesn't make sense. The skirt is comfier. The issue with these pants though is I hate pants. But at the same time, I could roll a suitcase in this without the fabric getting stuck to the wheels. Which does feel like a realistic plus for the airport. The last time I opened this to go somewhere, a spider crawled out of it, so. Peter Parker, bless us today, please. So here's a rundown of shirts unpacking. Natasha, Black Widow, Heart. Y'all have seen this a thousand times. WandaVision, Powerpuff Girls. Y'all have also seen this one a thousand times. WandaVision, Ringer, T, which I might wear because it's cute and like it kind of goes with the pants. Well, now you can even see the pants at this angle. Ugh. I bought this dress because I thought it was really cute and had like a bunch of comic print. You know, it's got like pow, etc. on it. Wonder Woman graphic tee, which I actually really like. I thrifted this like ages ago. I think I wore it in the Wonder Woman commentary video. And then obviously the OG classic it's from Uniqlo. I love it. Anyways, everything's packed, so that's exciting. I'm sweating in this jacket and I'm sweating in this hat and I'm sweating in these pants. <laughs> Guys, don't let me forget to water Harry before I go. I'm trying to pick a book to bring, and by book to bring, I mean a few books to bring because I feel like I might finish the book on the first flight. And then we're like switching planes. I don't know. The first book I'm definitely bringing is Never Let Me Go because I brought this to the beach and barely read it and I really wanna finish it. I wanna read this before I see the movie with Andrew Garfield in it, so this one's definitely coming for sure. I could finally read The Joy Luck Club, but I have a pretty stinking good feeling that that's going to make me sob. And I don't know if I want to be sobbing on the plane to California. It's a vibe, but not a vibe I really want right now. This one has been on my list for years, like since college. So actually, I'm bringing Rose and Crane to this for our day. This is what's happening. Everything is packed except for Peggy and Callie, who I don't know how they're gonna fit in there. I know what you're thinking too. Peggy, Peggy Carter, yes. But also, that's her middle name. Her first name is Daisy, her middle name is Margaret. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. since I've been awake early enough to watch the sunrise, I feel like just insert the obligatory Thanos quote here. I don't know about you guys, but my brain is not usually fully functional until at least 10.30, and even less so when I only get one hour of sleep the night prior. So to be honest, the first flight was a complete blur. I'm fairly confident I was a walking corpse. Anyways, my number one travel tip that will make everyone you're traveling with absolutely love you, I promise, is to make sure you immediately act like a tourist the second you land and take pictures of everything. I swear I capture clips as if the buildings around me will disappear into a Marvel incursion the second I stop looking at them, but I'm not apologizing for that because life is beautiful and buildings are pretty and cities are exhilarating. Speaking of, the view from the hotel was incredible. Seriously. Look at this city view. The weather was so nice, we even went on an hour walk outside, which normally would be an invitation to death if we dared to do that in Florida. So I was incredibly grateful. We concluded the day with some funky salmon and Spider-Man No Way Home since my dad hadn't seen it yet and we figured it would be good prep for the next day. Also, if you're wondering, he did really like it. Waking up to a city view is an utter blessing, and everyone who gets to do it often is living a dream. My dream, specifically. <laughs> Anyways, day one is a go. Y'all, I wish I could say I took more clips at the convention itself, but honestly, I was in survival mode. I was trying to see and experience everything all at once, which quickly became apparent that it was an impossible goal. So many sessions I wanted to go to happened at the exact same time, so it was an incredibly difficult choice, and to be honest, I'm still a little sad I missed some of them, like the Orville panel, but at least I got this clip of Adrienne on the poster. Staying positive, guys. Staying positive. 
I did manage to get into a load of writing and publishing oriented sessions though, which was neat, and also a really cool and informative one on location scouting. There were Marvel exhibits, Star Wars exhibits, amazing cosplayers at every turn, lines, lines, and more lines. I was so excited to see how much Miss Marvel and Moon Knight love there was though. Two of the best Disney Plus series, there, I said it. But honestly, I was really just trying to soak it all in. San Diego is just gorgeous with the perfect weather and perfect temperatures and perfect views and as many food options as you can think of. Look at this cannoli. Look at it. I was thriving. Minus the fact I walked 20k steps in one day, <laughs> but we're ignoring that. But honestly, all the walking was worth it to just exist in this city skyscape. I love when the sun reflects off the buildings and changes the whole vibe into magic as the sun sets. Speaking of the sun setting, y'all, I was exhausted. One day at Comic-Con and I felt like I got hit by a truck. I also looked like I got hit by a truck. And you know what? Despite that, I was ready to do it all over again the next day. The theme for day two's outfit was red, and I pulled out my I Can Do This All Day comic speech bubble earrings, which honestly worked with the Wonder Woman tank. I feel like Steve and Diana would get on just fine. Well, they do, obviously, but I mean Steve Rogers. Y'all know what I'm saying. <laughs> Moving on. Day two is more of the same, more to see, more to do, but with the added bonus of randomly running into Melissa and getting to meet her IRL for the first time ever. Also, she got into Hall H, so everyone go ask her how it was. I was super excited to get into the Doctor Who panel, which really just felt like a forum of fans talking about their favorite parts of the show. Also, I am so freaking excited for the next Doctor and Russell T Davies returning. I cannot wait. It is going to be fantastic. And I don't know if it was the caffeine or the fact I actually had some sleep prior, but I felt like so much more of a person at the end of day two than day one. And then suddenly, right when I felt like we were getting into the swing of things, we were going home. And I don't know how, but when you include the layover and then the time jump going back, we spent 12 hours traveling to get back to Florida. The whole trip honestly felt like a blur. My brain cannot fully comprehend the fact that I was in California or that I walk 20k steps each day, or that it ended so soon. Anyways, before I go, I just wanted to show a little Comic-Con haul, if you will. Um, I love Artist Alley. I will always stop there at any convention I go to. And this time I got two super cute prints, one of Harley Quinn, which I love. Look how adorable it is. And a print of this glittery black cat, which is going to look amazing on this gallery wall I've been planning. But for my absolute favorite thing I got, y'all aren't ready. Look at this shirt. I almost died. I cannot believe I now own a Rogers the Musical shirt. Somehow I feel like my life was just waiting for this moment. <laughs> but I had a really great time. I feel incredibly grateful. I truly don't feel like it really happened. Like it was just a blip. <laughs> it was a blip. I, I don't, I don't know. I can't comprehend it. Um, but thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this vlog and I will see you for the next one. Oh, it's beautiful. I love this guy. Can you see the city? Well, I'm just Petco Park. Wait, start over. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll do the thing run. Here, you hold the video like that, yeah? And then I'm gonna walk across. <laughs>